As General Santa Ana and his army headed east from the Alamo, Texians were faced with a terrible decision. Risk the wrath of the Mexican army or abandon their homes and head east toward the safety of the United States. Run, run for your lives! Run for your lives! Run! Word of the approaching danger reached the town of San Felipe de Austin. Who's coming? Capital of Colonial Texas on March 29, 1836. Come here, 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 come the Mexicans are coming, they're burning and they're pillaging. We gotta go. It's not safe anymore. You're right. Take the children and Oma and Opa, and we'll see you when this is done. The decision whether or not to leave had to be made quickly. Bring the baby. Quick. And packing was a hasty affair. Here. Families had to balance the need to travel light with the knowledge that anything they left behind might be taken or destroyed by either the Texian or the Mexican army. Hey, Clark's here. Load it up. Come on. Belongings that couldn't be brought with them were hidden. Some families even buried valuables in the ground and disguised the hole to look like a grave in hopes that it wouldn't be disturbed. The decision to flee also meant deciding whether or not to separate. Many Texian men joined the war effort, meaning women were primarily responsible for the safety of their families during the revolution. Children. Come here. Must you go? You need to be brave. You need to listen to your mother. And I'll see you again when this is over. I, I will go so I can fight for our home. You have to stay. It's too dangerous. If, if I do not go, I will not leave. Okay. How will I find you? I will find you when this war is over. Come back to us. We have to go. Let's go. Come on. Esposa mía, tengo que irme. Houston viene en unos dos días. Va a ser algo difícil. Ten mucho cuidado con ellas. Cuídalas. Protégelas. Las quiero mucho. Ya saben. Las amo. Adiós. Adiós, hijas. No se preocupen. Todo va a salir bien. No se preocupen. Ya me tengo que ir. Adiós, esposa mía. Vamos, muchachos. While some Texians stayed on their land, thousands of people, mostly women, children, and enslaved people, chose to flee. Hey, y'all can join us. It's safer in numbers. Come on, there's more of us than safer it is. Quickly, quickly. The Mexicans are coming. This mass exodus was called the runaway scrape. Hey, you in the house, come with us. It's not safe. You need to leave. Let's go. Come on. In their haste, many families left without taking time to close up their homes. Accounts of the runaway scrape describe passing homes with doors wide open, food still on the table, and hungry animals still in their pens. While the civilians headed east, many men remained behind to join the Texas Army. General Houston ordered his Tejano troops to serve as a rear guard protecting the fleeing civilians. In San Felipe, Captain Mosley Baker's company stayed behind in hopes of saving their town. But just hours after the town was evacuated, Houston ordered Baker and his men to burn it before it could be captured by the Mexican army. The recently evacuated townsfolk would never see their homes again. The runaway scrape was a brutal experience. Horses were needed for the army, so those who were able made the long journey on foot, carrying children and even their belongings. All right, we have to make it to the river before the army does. 
Many travelers quickly realized that they had overpacked and abandoned heavy items on the side of the road in an attempt to lighten their load. Unusually heavy rains and mud made the roads miserable and the river crossings especially dangerous. Neighbors traveled together, relying on each other for safety and support, as well as news, which was often in short supply. Did you hear the awful news? The Alamo has fallen. All, there were no survivors, and Travis and all of his men are dead. And I'm, I'm just afraid Santa Ana's going to get us next. I heard Fannin got caught outside of Goliad. He and his, all, his, all his men were killed. Oh. There's not too many young men left to fight for Texas. Oh, we need to move on. Children became separated from their families at crowded river crossings and on congested roads. Traveling parties found lost children and even babies and took them into their own group, hoping to reunite them with their parents further along the road. My John gave us a newspaper from San Felipe before he went to join Houston's men. He said the delegates of Washington have voted for independence. Texas is a free country. And Houston just keeps retreating to the east, burning our towns as he goes. When is he going to stand and fight? Mama, how's the baby? Oh my God! The trip was especially dangerous for the elderly and the young. And diseases like measles, dysentery, whooping cough, and cholera took their toll. Some women lost more than their homes during the runaway scrape. Todos me dicen el negro llorona, negro pero cariñoso. Todos me dicen el negro llorona, negro pero cariñoso. Yo soy como el chile verde llorona, picante pero sabroso. Yo soy como el chile verde llorona, picante pero sabroso. Ay de mi llorona, 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 llévame al río. Ay de mi llorona, 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 llévame al río. Tápame con tu rebozo, llorona, porque me muero de frío. Tápame oh. con tu oh. rebozo, oh. llorona, porque me muero de frío. Si porque te quiero, quieres, llorona, Quieres que te quiera más. Si ya te he dado la vida, llorona, no, ¿qué más baby. quieres? No, quieres no, más. No, no, no. Si ya te he dado la vida, llorona, ¿qué más quieres? Quieres más. Even once the Battle of San Jacinto was won, the civilian struggle was far from over. They now had to repeat the same dangerous journey, but through a countryside ravaged by two armies. Once they arrived at their homes, many families found their homes and their fields ransacked or in ruins. In his autobiography of the revolution, S.F. Sparks wrote, it is impossible to tell of the courage and fortitude of our women at this time. God bless the women of Texas.